What's up guys, it's Kim from Game for Pancakes and I'm going to be doing Kalen's Gaming Tips. So this is for Minecraft and it's going to be farming. I'm going to tell you how to farm stuff, where to find it, and how to take care of it. So to find wheat, all you got to do is just go go into the world, go find some dirt. Um, all you got to do is just destroy the grass that's on the dirt. There's usually grass everywhere. You can just find it out in the forest or in a grassland. Um, you can't find it in the desert, but you can find it in the snow biome. You can find it pretty much anywhere. As you can see, I have a lot of wheat. Um, pumpkins only spawn uh, naturally in the world, just randomly. So you, all you gotta do is just like look for them. There's no specific place to find them. Um, they usually spawn in sets of five through ten. That is the only way you can find them. You can't like go find them anywhere else. Melons or watermelons, you can only find in chests, which are near mob spawners or in a um. Yeah, what's it called? Well, whatever it's called, that's all. You, that's the only way you can find. It. You can find it in chests, um, in mob spawner. That's pretty much the only place you can find them. Uh, they're really hard to find. So, good luck with that. It took me a really long time to do that. It was just a pain in my butt. Sugar cane, you can only find out near water, whether it be near rivers, whether it near be ponds, or whether it's by the ocean. Uh, nether wart, you can only find in the Nether, and it only grows on soul sand. And as you can see, when you destroy one, you get four. And then you grow it only in soul sand. You don't need water or anything. It doesn't really need any certain configuration. So that's all you really have to do for uh, nether wart. To prepare land for wheat, all you got to do is like, take a hoe and start tilling the land. And then so you can start putting seeds down. So p these are uh, pumpkin seeds, I think. And then pumpkin seeds and watermelon seeds in your hand look different. But when they're on the ground and in in growing there is no difference whatsoever you cannot tell what they are until they are full absolutely fully grown that is the only downside to this now when the stalks have started to grow this is what they look like you cannot tell the difference at this point either they have to be absolutely fully grown before you can actually tell the difference so that's that's pretty much the only downside to this you cannot tell what they are until they are absolutely fully grown See these stalks are the exact same. You can you can count the squares if you want to, but there's no point to it because they are exactly the same. Okay, so now that they're fully grown, you can obviously tell the difference. The watermelons are green with dark green stripes, and then pumpkins are orange with orange stripes. Now, or, uh, pumpkins actually have jack o' lantern faces, but they seem to be that uh, you can't really see them because they only sh show in one direction. It helps if you have water a block on each side so that the watermelon or the pumpkin doesn't grow in the wrong direction so it grows like this there is no clear way to um or any way actually to uh, prepare sand or dirt for sugarcane all you gotta do is have sand or dirt does not matter which one i prefer sand because it looks more natural um all you need is sand to grow it okay sand or dirt and the, the sand and the dirt has to be touching water so these stone ones you can't grow it on stone but these corner ones specifically you cannot grow it on because they are not touching the block. If they were sand and they weren't touching the block, you still couldn't grow them. It has to be sand or dirt and it has to be touching the water. Okay? So this is what they look like when they're starting to grow. All you gotta do to plant them is to place, make the cursor look at sand and then press the left trigger to place it. Like so. And then all you gotta do is just keep doing that uh, and then throughout your old garden depending on how much sugarcane you want. Sugarcane is used to make sugar or paper and paper is used to make books which can help you make an enchanting table. Sugarcane can grow four high but my room is only three high because I like it looks neater that way. Um, you have to absolutely have light to grow everything. I have not mentioned that earlier but you have to have light to grow everything no matter what. To prepare uh, nether wart you don't really need to do anything you just need to put the soul sand down. It does not need water doesn't need it does need sunlight like everything else doesn't necessarily sunlight but some sort of light whether it's glowstone torches or sunlight but it has to have light um, that's the only that's the only thing does not matter what configuration the shape of the soul sand is whether it's 1 by 7 or 382 by 3427 does not matter what what by what how many blocks by how many blocks it does not matter okay 
All you gotta do is just like put it down. Another thing that's helpful is to have a garden chest. To have to have your tools, you know, your spare seeds, just stuff like that. It's really helpful to do. So you don't have to clutter all your other chests with it. To plant a tree sapling, all you gotta do is just have one square of dirt. It does not need water, but it does have to be outside. It can't be inside at all. It can be in a hole, which um, which has no roof, but it has to have has to have sunlight. Absolutely sunlight. Does not can't be glowstone or torches. It has to be sunlight. Um, all you need is one like one square and then like maybe five squares of space around it, and then that's all you gotta really do. And then uh, and then you what you do is you wait for it to grow. Um, you can get apples from trees. No matter what, if you destroy a tree, whether it be the logs and the leaves, you will get at least one apple. And depending on what size, you will at least get one tree sapling. For these bigger trees, you can get up to like ten, but most of the time you only get like uh, two to five. So that's the um, that's how you get tree saplings. This is what a tree looks like when it's fully grown. Um, this one, as you can see, is five high, I think. Yeah, I think that one's five high, but it can grow to anything from three high to twenty-seven high. I mean, like. Trees can grow ridiculously high. I mean, like they can grow big, they can grow tall, wide. They can ha they can even have branches of logs growing outward if, if it grows like that. So that's what it looks like when it's fully grown. So this is how you prepare dirt for wheat seeds and pretty much any other thing that grows in dirt. What you gotta do is you gotta take a hoe and then you gotta look at the dirt. Dirt uh, for wheat, you can have uh, blocks of dirt three across. Doesn't matter how wide that has to, it can be up to three three wide can't be four but it has to be three. And when you actually start tilling the dirt, it'll turn brown. It'll actually turn. I think it'll actually. One sec. Yeah, it'll get one micro block shorter. So that's one way you can tell, and then it'll turn darker. But then you can start planting your wheat seeds. So watch. You can tell the difference between the light and the dark dirt. And then all you gotta do is just like start planting. Um. Just I mean like. Um, wheat seeds grow like pretty fast at first. I mean, like, look how much wheat I have over here. I mean, like, wheat isn't fully grown until it gets these little black dots up at the top. Um, that's the only way you can actually fully tell that it's fully grown. Um, sometimes it'll it'll be really close, and then you'll accidentally destroy it without thinking that it's fully grown. Um, one way you can tell is that it, it it's not green at all. It has to be yellow brownish. Now see, as you can see, this one is already starting to grow a little bit. Um, that's pretty much all you gotta do for wheat seeds. Um, it's helpful to have a block of water that's four by four. So that's what a wheat that's what a wheat looks like, and that's what wheat seeds look like. I was I was saying it's helpful to have uh, one section of water two by two, and then when you when you uh, get a bucket of water out of that, it'll just automatically refill itself. Uh, people call it the endless pool of water or something like that. And then thank you guys for watching Game for Pancakes. That's pretty much it. And peace out.